Okay, students. So this is a basically a teaser video which I am making for ITJ Advanced Online Series uh, to give you an idea of what kind of questions will be covered uh, in the Advanced Series. So, uh, as I have seen some queries from the students that if you can show us a sample of what kind of questions would be there. So this is the stuff for them. All right. Uh, so I'll be taking one question on this uh, video. So let's take that. That is a question of definite integration. And the purpose of taking this is to uh, take uh, different concepts in a single question. So this is the question. We need to find the value of this. And from 0 to pi. So I've seen students applying here property 4 and uh, property 6 of definite integration, right? So the first thought that comes to the mind is property 4 and property 6 of the definite integration. But if you go and try this ahead with using these two properties, you will be stuck. You will not be able to move ahead. So how we are going to solve this problem? Let's see. So let me take this integral as i 0 to 2 pi e raised to power cos x into cos x with the input as sin x. So something very interesting is happening here. Uh, now what we are going to introduce here is basically how concept of complex numbers can be used also here. So we are going to use complex numbers here. And for complex numbers, we use the Euler form. What is Euler form? e raised to power iota theta is nothing but cos theta plus iota sin theta. This is what we people know, right? So now just imagine here, it is cos of sin theta or sin x. So I can say e raised to power iota sin x, right? Instead of theta, it is, now the theta's role is being played by sin x. So this becomes cos of sin x plus iota sine of sine x this is what you will get and you need what you need the real part of this so you just require this component which is nothing but real part of e raised to power iota sine x so that means if i see this this is nothing but what can i say about this one yes it this complete integral then reduces to 0 to 2 pi e raised to power cos x the real part of e raised to power iota sin x right so this is how complex number can also be introduced in a definite integration problem and since what about this particular uh, term that is written ahead of this so this is nothing but it's a constant right can you see it's a constant so constant can be multiplied inside so this complete stuff will be 0 to 2 pi real part of and these two are getting multiplied that is e raised to power cos x into e raised to power iota sin x. So now you can get hold of why I have done this because this becomes a very simple form here that is cos x plus iota sin x and real can be taken outside the integral as well. That's not a problem. Okay. We can take the integral outside or you want to take the integral inside. That is not a problem. Let's take the integral inside only. Okay. To, to make you comfortable. So it is e raised to power cos x plus iota sin x. Right. And we know that this is nothing but again a Euler form. So this question now reduces that 0 to 2 pi e raised to power e raised to power iota sin x. Oh, sorry, e raised to power e raised to power iota x. This is what this question will become. Okay. So up till now, this question is clear. But now what after this? That is again a problem. And I have to write a real part of this. You want only the real part of this number. Okay. Now the next concept that we are going to use in this particular question is the concept of exponential series. Okay, so what is the exponential series of e raised to power x? So it is nothing but 1 plus x by 1 factorial. Remember, plus x square by 2 factorial, plus x cube by 3 factorial, and this goes on till infinity. Right, this goes on. So we will also be using this exponential series in this particular question. So here, in fact, it is e raised to power e raised to power iota x. So what this will become is 1 plus e raised to power iota x by 1 factorial plus e raised to power iota times 2x raised to power 2 factorial plus e raised to power iota 3x by 3 factorial, right? This is what the series will become and this will go till infinity, right? And what our target was, our target was to find the only the real component of this number, right? Remember, we wanted to find the real part of e raised to power e raised to power iota x. So we just take the real part. So e raised to power iota x will be cos x plus iota sin x. So the only real part that we require is nothing but cos x, right? Cos x by 1. Here, what will be the e raised to power iota 2x will really represent cos 2x, right? That is only the real component. Again, we are interested and so on. So this becomes a cosine series. 
something like this which again follows a definite pattern okay now you want to integrate this from 0 to pi so now the question now completely reduces to that i is equal to 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos x plus cos of 2x by 2 factorial plus cos of 3x by 3 factorial up till infinity right this is what you will obtain okay so this particular component that is 1 over here right the 1 this gives you the answer 2 pi right that, that's not a problem so this gives you answer as uh, 2 pi plus something of this but if you notice if I integrate it from 0 to 2 pi cos x yes the area or the algebraic sum of the areas will come out to be 0 can you see this this will come out to be 0 because this is the period you are integrating cos x in its period so the answer would be 0 similarly if I talk about cos 2x right here the period is though reduced but again yes so that means frequency is double that means it will cover the wave two times in 0 to 2 pi but again the single wave area is 0 for example I'll sketch a diagram here so this is cos x right between 0 to 2 pi so this region plus this region will be equal to this region so that means the area will become 0 so all these terms will actually give you 0 0 because cos x cos 3x so even if you talk about cos 3x that means it will complete itself in the range 0 to 2 pi three times again but each time when it covers or each wave area has zero so three times again the area will be zero no problems so the answer that you are looking for is nothing but 2 pi that's the beauty, beauty of this question so the answer is nothing but 2 pi and this is how you are going to find answers to these kind of problems so it's a beautiful problem to understand how complex numbers are used and then the exponential form so two important things in this question complex number usage in definite integration and exponential form usage in definite integration okay so this is the kind of question that we are going to take in the advanced lecture series